Two years ago, almost to this day, we reviewed the Thrustmaster T300 RS for the PlayStation 4, PS3, and PC. Since that time, the T300 has not only become one of the go-to wheels in sim racing, but has become the center point of the fair-sized Thrustmaster ecosystem. That ecosystem includes derivatives such as the T300 Servo, which is just the standalone wheelbase, and the T300 Alcantara Edition that features the fantastic feeling 599 Evo Alcantara rim and removes the not-so-great two-pedal set in lieu of the solid T3PA three-pedal set. And now there's a new addition to the T300 family, the T300 GT Edition. The GT Edition, named after the Gran Turismo franchise and featuring GT Sport-inspired box art, throws its hat into the ring with minor changes. So, should you be interested in the T300 GT Edition? Let's talk about it. Sim Racing Chassis provided by Next Level Racing. Check them out at nextlevelracing.com. So what are the differences between the T300 RS and the T300 GT Edition? Well, the T300 rim gets a GT logo instead of the PlayStation logo. The wheelbase gets more Thrustmaster branding. You get the three pedal T3PA set with new pedal faces. And that's it. So if you already purchased the T300 RS and have upgraded to the T3PA pedals, then there's not much to see here. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out ISRTV.com and click the like button on your way out. But if you already don't own the T300 RS, then stick with me because the T300 GT Edition offers a nice price per performance argument. The GT Edition comes in at $399.99, the same price as a T300 RS was when it was released two years ago. Today the T300 RS goes for $350 at the time of this filming. That means for $50 more, you get to upgrade to the much better T3PA pedal set. So what's so special about the T3PA pedals and more specifically, this version of the T3PA pedals? Well, for starters, the T3PA pedals are a very solid set of pedals that will allow you to race competitively. Are they the best pedals out there? No, but with that said, the driving I did for this review reminded me what a solid set of pedals the T3PAs are. The conical brake mod does a good job of adding resistance to the brake pedal, and the gas pedal has good snapback. And what about those pedal faces? Visually, the new pedal faces are a nice upgrade from the standard T3PA faces, with clean lines and brushed aluminum. They're also bigger in width, height, and thickness, which is nice from not just a higher looking quality standpoint, but from a practical standpoint. I really enjoyed the feeling of having a little more pedal underneath my feet. What I was a little disappointed by was the lack of options for the brake face's location. While the gas and clutch pedals keep the same mounting hole options as a standard T3PA pedal set, for some reason, the brake loses four of its mounting holes. This means I wasn't able to move the brake face more to the left, as I like to do to straighten out my left leg during braking. With that said, due to the gain width, the GT Edition brake pedal faces reaches about the same location as the pedal face of the standard T3PA when you utilize the leftmost holes, so there really isn't much difference. Regardless though, it would have been nice if Thrustmaster would have kept the holes for the brake, so if you wanted to move it even more left, you could. So now let's talk about the wheel, and to be honest, there isn't too much to say here. It's the same T300 that I've had on my rig for a while now, thanks to its good force feedback strength and smooth, consistent belt drive. It can be hard mounted via two M6 bolts, which are not included, and I wish more wheel manufacturers would start throwing those bolts in so your first stop when you get a brand new wheel isn't to the hardware store, and a table mount that does a good job as long as the table is of uniform thickness. The GT Edition allowed me to reacquaint myself with the base T300 rim, and like the pedals, reminds me that it's a pretty good base rim. While not wrapped in leather or Alcantara, it is wrapped in nice feeling rubber that isn't too hard or too soft and has positive feeling buttons and paddle shifters. And because it's a T300 wheel, you can upgrade to different Thrustmaster rims in the future if you like. 
With that said, let's get to our final thoughts. Is the GT Edition T300 wheel and pedal set revolutionary? No. Is it a fruitless brand exercise? I don't think so either. While this doesn't really move the needle if you already own a T300 or TX for the PC or even T500, if you are in the market for a new wheel and pedal set, I do think this does offer a pretty nice price per performance option. $400 for a T300 wheel and flasher T3 PA pedals is a good deal. In fact, the hardest decision may be whether or not to spend an additional $70 and upgrade to the T300 Alcantara edition for $470. Sure, you don't get the new pedal faces, but you do get that sweet 599 rim. Options are a good thing. Well, usually a good thing, except when you're like picking out paint colors with your significant other. Or lights. Or flooring. Maybe that reference just applies to me. But, considering how there aren't that many choices really out there in the sim racing world for wheel and pedal sets, having another option that is well priced, like the T300 GT Edition, is a good thing. Thanks for watching Inside Sim Racing. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And also check out our website, isrtv.com, for all the goodness we have going on over there. Also, check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. We can click on the link, shop through Amazon, and we get a little kickback. So we can help feed our family, including this new addition to ours. This is Indy. I named her after Indy Cars. And my girlfriend allowed me to do it. So they're both keepers. So for John Sable, thanks for watching Inside Sim Racing. See you guys next time. Good girl.